Following Australia's successful campaign at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, they will be hoping to go even better in 2026. But how will their squad look this time around as many players will no longer be in the squad for the next edition of the World Cup? We will go through each position and which player will most likely be in the starting 11. In goal, Tom Glover will be the most likely choice. The keeper has recently joined Middlesbrough from Melbourne City and will be looking to break into the national team squad in the coming months. Joe Gaussi, who is currently at Adelaide United, may also take the number one spot. Either of these goalkeepers are good enough to be number one. Only form will decide who starts in 2026. In the back four, we can see a starting lineup of Nathaniel Atkinson, Harry Sorter, Key Rolls, and Jordan Boss. This is very similar to the defensive lineup of the 2022 World Cup. The only difference would be the inclusion of Jordan Boss, who has made a name for himself towards the end of the A League season and got a well earned move to Europe. Alessandro Sakati may take key Rolls' place in the lineup, but as of now, Rolls gets the start ahead of him. In the middle of the park, the starting lineup will consist of Kiyanu Bacchus, Riley McGree, and, potentially, Christian Volpato. Volpato, who currently plays for Sassuolo in Italy, is leaning towards representing Italy, but many sources, including Graham Arnold himself, are making it seem more and more likely that Volpato will wear the green and gold. It is easy to imagine Bacchus and McGree playing behind Volpato in a more attacking role for the Socceroos' next World Cup. In attack, a front three of Garan Kool, Noah Botic and Nestori Irankunda seems the most likely, a completely different lineup to that of 2022. Garan Kool who is currently at Newcastle United in the Premier League, played in the 2022 World Cup and made two appearances against France and Argentina. Garang had the final chance of the game against Argentina in that historic match and almost scored to send the game to extra time. Unfortunately, it wasn't a meant to be, but Garang Kool may be able to make up for himself at this World Cup, where he will most likely be the most important player in the team. Noah Botic, who as of now, has not made a senior appearance for Australia, currently plays for Western United in the A-League. He is an up-and-coming player who is coming off the back of a great individual season and he will definitely be a pick for the Australia squad in 2026. The only player competing in his spot as of now would be Alo Kaur and finally Iran Kunda. He will be the talking point for Australia in years to come and is definitely Australia's next great player. With links to clubs such as Bayern Munich and FC Barcelona, Iran Kunda can make the difference for Australia at the 2026 World Cup.